The shooting rampage at two Jewish facilities in Overland Park is now considered a hate crime. Yeah, that means both federal and local prosecutors can file charges against Fraser Glenn Cross, who also goes by the name Glenn Miller. Amy Hawley was in Overland Park when the police chief released new information in the case. Well, the multiple shootings that happened here on Sunday at the Jewish Community Center in South Overland Park and then about a mile and a half away at Village Shalom Retirement Center on Sunday have captured international attention, all the way from President Obama to, we've learned today, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And today, here, local authorities told us that the 73-year-old suspect that they have in custody, they believe he had a certain target when he pulled in here on the driveway to the Jewish Community Center on Sunday. Uh, we believe that his motivation was to attack a Jewish facility. Authorities say the 73-year-old suspect, Frazier Glenn Cross, didn't try to hide yesterday. As plain as day, several witnesses watched an unmasked man unfold 20 minutes of terror. A grandfather and his 14-year-old grandson were fatally shot outside of the Jewish Community Center. It wasn't unusual for my dad to be taking one of the grandkids somewhere, whether it was Reed or, I mean, it could have been my mom taking Reed also. And it just happened to be, you know, just sheer dumb luck. I cannot imagine the, the tragedy and the loss of a family member, let alone two family members. And a third victim outside of the Village Shalom Retirement Center. But the chief said it was because of all of those witnesses that officers were able to handcuff an armed suspect just 20 minutes later. Our dispatchers received a total of 28 911 or emergency calls. Cross, the chief said, did not put up a fight as officers surrounded his car in a school parking lot. But he did say the suspect did shout out his beliefs, escalating the suspect's alleged actions to a hate crime, a federal offense. All of this happening on the first day of the Jewish holiday, Passover. Our entire community stands united as we prepare for the Jewish holiday of Passover this evening, a time of peace, hope, and freedom. Now, the three victims we learned today attended either Catholic or United Methodist churches. The U.S. attorney also told us today that he believes he already has enough evidence in this case that he believes a grand jury will have this case very, very soon. In Overland Park, Amy Holly, 41 Action News. All right, Amy, we know that the Jewish Community Center is closed today and tomorrow. When they reopen Wednesday, are they planning any changes because of this? Yes, and they've been working really closely with the Overland Park Police Department for many, many months on, you know, how to make this community center safe. And yes, they did announce today that they are going to be stepping up some security here at the Jewish Community Center in the next few days and in the coming months, simply because people are so very nervous here. So they didn't go into detail as to exactly what they're going to be doing, but they do know that they're going to continue to work with the Overland Park Police Department, as they have for the last few months, to make this place as safe as they possibly can. It's why the police chief told us yesterday that this has been a personal tragedy for him. Yeah, he got emotional talking about that a little bit. All right, Amy Holly, thank you for your reports today and yesterday, too. Great job.